Okay guys, so I'm originally from California if you've been to my channel for a long time. And I recently moved to um to Trinil, Texas a couple weeks ago. And I was really nervous of um changing schools because I didn't know if I was gonna get new friends and stuff. And I didn't wanna go. I loved my school over there but I had to come over here. Um so yeah, I went over here and I was really nervous the first day of school and everything. When I went, the teacher um, showed me all my classes that I'm gonna that I'm gonna go to. And then my first class was is art, but I didn't go to that one because we were um, testing. So when we test, we have to go to your second period. So I went to my the second period. It was Miss Granados. She. Um, I think she teaches. I think it's English. I'm not really sure. Uh, and yeah, we. I did a test there. I introduced myself. Everybody came to me, and I'll, that felt real cool, knowing that people are gonna accept me. And then, but one thing, like that school is really, really next to like Mexico. So a lot, of, mostly everybody there are um, speak Spanish. So it was a really um, hard thing for me to do because everybody, um, because I don't speak Spanish, just a little bit, but not a lot. Like, and um, so yeah, they're talking to me in Spanish, but then I told them that I don't speak Spanish and I guess they're okay with it. They just started speaking Spanish to me, I mean English to me. and. Yeah, I just did the test. I asked the teacher that because I wasn't there, do I have to take the test? And she said, yeah, I have to still take it, but the score won't count. And yeah, I did that and whatever. Then I went to my, I went to my other periods and whatever, and I introduced myself to the students and to the teacher. Yeah, I was um, I found it fun and interesting. Uh, I did find it long because we get out at three uh three forty five, and we get in at eight. So I found it very long because my old school used to get out at 2.28 and we went at 8.15 so it was a really hard time for me to change the schedule and wake up earlier and stuff like that. And then when I went to lunch I did have people invite me to their table which was very kind. That's why I was really nervous about like I wouldn't sit with anybody in lunch but I did. and. There were some guys, and yeah, I talked to them. They talked to me. Most of them speak Spanish, and a lot of people in my school don't speak English at all because, like, this year is the first year that they went to school in um, America because the uh, other years they went to school in Mexico. And so, yeah, I found that really fun. I got, I found a lot of people to say hi to. Everybody was nice to me. And then, yeah, after lunch, I went to math. I introduced myself to other teachers, to PE, the PE teachers and whatever. And I had real fun that day. That day was real cool, my first day. And I had real, real fun. And I thought, well, this is going to be a good year. This is going to be a good school year. I was nervous for nothing. And then the next days, I had a... It was fun and everything, but then school got harder and harder and harder until the point that I don't get it at all. So in math, I have a 59. I, I guess that's the only um, class I'm failing. Math and math, I found it real, real hard, and I didn't want to go to that school no more because. I sit with different people. I sit with different people. Uh, I'm not. I don't sit like by myself. I have friends and stuff, but it's changing, you know. And um, I, f I have a lot of good friends. I have a lot of good friends, and frankly, no one bullies me at all. And I, that's why I was also scared of that people would bully me. But that's no one's, no one has bullied me so far. But and so yeah. I'm kind of enjoying it now, but what I don't enjoy is math and science and my other classes. They're getting boring, and 
in science we're doing elements and atoms and the periodic table of elements and over there in California we did like little projects like we had to drop an egg and put like a layer in the bottom of it for it can't break that's what we did we didn't do any real real hard science and like in math it was really easy ma math and California just I have a better fit in California than Torneo but I mean I enjoy I'm enjoying I am enjoying Torneo but it's a problem that I have to do so many stuff I'm not um, like saying anything like about Torneo but it's just like kind of a lot harder than California and I think I would better fit in California than Torneo but I'm not complaining at all I'm just saying that I I could be over there it's not because of the friends it's not because of that it's because of the the, the classes I have and the and the different stuff there is in Torneo and what there is in California so yeah guys until today I've been having fun I guess I've been it's just school you know school's not that fun but I like that they let you use your phone in lunch and then on Fridays you can use your phone to listen to music in math so that's a real fun and PE that's cool I have eight periods some people in California if you're watching from California or different states or countries we um they have like seven but here we have nine no no eight to nine yeah eight eight periods and over there there's seven periods so it's a big difference we have another hour and so yeah guys um that's my story about how i'm joining it here in Torneo, texas and there's some allegations that i live in Fabens, texas which is false i'm declining these allegations because they're not true they're false and i live in Torneo. So thank you for watching this video. I will really free telling you guys how I feel about my new school here in Torneo. And so yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please, please comment below what you want me to do next, and I will do it. Until next, next time, guys. I'll see you. Ah, until next time, guys. I'll see you later. Bye. Thank you.